to week three, lesson four of the Store Manager Academy. Today's lesson is all about building a customer-focused culture and a culture of training and development. This is one of my favorite topics. In fact, when I got my start in retail, that is what I was laser focused on. Now, I didn't do the best job and I had a lot of ups and downs, but eventually I learned how to develop and sustain a customer service focused culture, which really in the end is what's going to build your business and help you be profitable because your customers are happy. They want to shop from your store. Being, having great customer service is all about the total in-store experience. Really, it's what completes the in-store experience. Now, I, I, I'm sure many of you that are watching this already understands you already understand what great customer service looks like, and you've probably been trained in great customer service. Many managers are the best at offering customer service, and, the, and really, you're that person that leads the charge. But I need to ask you, do your average part-time hourly associate that's working maybe three days a week, do they understand what great customer service looks like? Are they, are they really embracing it? Chances are you have quite a few employees that are not embracing great customer service. And, and, and in part, it's due to not embracing the training. You, that's, that's a big part of customer service is actually finding people that wanna provide great customer service, but two, that are trainable, that are coachable. So through this training, I want to emphasize when you're recruiting, when you're hiring team members, you need to make customer service a big part of that conversation. You really need to ask skilled questions for customer service to find people that are really customer service focused because as you learn in a prior in a prior module, one bad associate that's working just 25 hours a week that's interacting on average with 100 customers per shift can negatively impact 1600 customers per month. Imagine if you had two or three employees that are negatively impacting 1,600 customers per month per employee. Your business will not last. You'll start to see a negative trend in your comps. First, you'll see single digits because you're losing just a handful of customers every week. Then you'll start seeing double digits and then high double digits. And then eventually, it's too late. You've lost the community's trust because of your poor customer service. That's why I'm so passionate about customer service. That's why it's so important to, for managers like you that are watching this training to build a strong customer focus culture. You need to talk about customer service each day, every day. During your morning huddles, you need to give a good example of customer service. During your evening huddles, you need to talk about a great example of customer service. When you see somebody providing great customer service, you need to set, you need to take them to the side and personally thank them for, by, for providing such excellent customer service. Those are the types of things that are gonna help you build this culture. Now you need to also be aware of those employees that are not providing good customer service. And the best way you can do that, really, it's the easiest way. When you get a bad review on Google, on Yelp, on Facebook, Go and call that customer if your company allows you to, hopefully they do, and really take detailed notes. Do not go in there with the attitude of, my store is the best, we would never do that to you, you're crazy. Now I know, I know, you're saying Steven, some customers are just crazy. I know, I understand that, but there's two sides to every story and you need to understand that customer's perception of their experience. So you can learn from that. Even though the employee might have been in the right, they were, they, were, they, were, they were based in principle, that's our refund policy and we're sticking to it, they probably didn't handle that customer very well. They probably didn't speak to them in the best way. So you need to go after those reviews, call those customers, get a hold of them and find out what happened, what experience did they have in your store, who did they interact with, get as much detail as possible, I'm not gonna to talk to you about how you can fix that situation. That'll be in another training. But for, for this training, the purposes of this training, you need to go after those customers and really get their side of the story 
and then use that information to not only retrain that employee, but to train your entire team on that process to make sure everybody's on the same page. So when you have a customer that's upset about a refund policy, and, you know, you can just say, guys, have, you can have in a simple memo that you, you send to your team, and then you can reinforce it in morning huddles and in store meetings. Guys, I trust you with, the re with, with returns. If you have a customer that's obviously not abusing the policy, and it's a little bit outside of our normal return policy, let's take care of the customer. Let's do what it takes to make them happy, because is it worth losing this customer over a $20 purchase? When on average our customers are spending $10,000 a year from our business? Come on, let's, let's use our common sense, let's do what it takes. And I'll, I'll support you. If, you. if you, you know, maybe do a refund that just didn't, didn't work quite well with our policy and I'm getting calls from my boss about it, I'll back you up. But you just gotta use your common sense and really put yourself in the customer's shoes. So that's, again, I, when, when I'm talking about customer service, you need to put yourself Teach your team to put themselves in the customer's shoes. You need to talk about that on a regular basis. You need to use that phrase, put yourself in the customer's shoes. Stand on the other side of the cash register and what would you expect from us? If, you're, if your employees embrace that concept, you're going to be in a much better shape as a retailer. Now again, back to going to the, to the reviews where you found bad reviews, you got the, the feedback, and then you train those employees. The next thing you need to do when it, when it comes to building a high, perform, or high performance culture that really embraces great customer service is you've got to listen. You gotta be quiet and you've gotta listen. You've gotta listen to your team every day. Sometimes I'm just in my cash office doing my normal paperwork and I'm just, and you know, luckily a lot of the cash offices I've been in there's no ceiling above my cash office. It's the store ceiling. So I can hear what's going on at the front counter. So in a lot of cases, you just gotta sit there and listen to your team. Watch your team, how they're interacting with customers. And you'll, you'll, you'll quickly find those associates that are just great with customers. Keep those people in front of your customers. And then you'll find people that are not good with customers. So if, if you find those people that are not good with customers, they better be coachable and trainable. And if they're not, they either need to be in a position that involves zero customer interaction, or they need to be promoted to another company where they're not dealing with customers, but they shouldn't be dealing with customers in your organization. So again, listen. Listen to your employees, watch your employees, and just train each employee one-on-one. -on -one. We talked about coaching in the moment on a prior lesson, the do's and don'ts. Sometimes the coaching in this case, when you see someone has provided poor customer service, that probably shouldn't be in the moment coaching out on the floor. That is something that you need to pull them into your office private, privately and say, hey, Jim, I, w I just I was walking by and I overheard your conversation with that customer and I was put off by it because, uh, you know, you, after the, you, they asked if you had this product, if we had this product, you said, no, we don't. And then you turned their, your back to them and walked away. Can you tell me if that happened to you when you were at another retailer, you literally got in your car, you were so excited to go buy this product, to go to that retailer, you ask it, you can't find it, you spent you know, 20 minutes looking for it, you finally find an associate and you ask them if they have it and they say no and they turn their back without even finishing the conversation and walking away. How would that make you feel? Well, it's yeah, that would make me feel pretty crappy. Exactly, so tell me why you did that. Oh, I was just in a hurry. Look, doesn't matter how much of a in, her, in, a, in a hurry we are, we've got to provide the best customer service possible. How do you think you could have handled that differently? So you get them to open it up and then you tweak that, that conversation into proper training of offering great customer service. That is how you're going to fix a customer service problem in your store. That's how you're gonna build a culture. Now, the last thing I wanna share with you when it comes to building a customer service culture is you need to actually have these, you need to actually have training available to your team. You, so that comes into the training portion. You need to say, these are our training, stand, these are our standards for customer service. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? This is how you're gonna handle these types of customers. 
This is how you'll handle this type of situation. And this is how we treat customers when they walk in. This is how we treat them on the floor. This is how we treat them when we're trying to run to the bathroom because we've been you know, working so hard we forget we had to go to, to the restroom and now you're working your way to the front of the store and you're stopped by 10 customers. This is what you do when you've overwhelmed with too many customers and you can't help every one of them. This is how you help two customers at a time. You've got to clearly break out a training plan for your team on how to handle the the best and the worst of customer service and the best of the and the worst of the situations that they'll commonly face being out on the floor helping customers that is where you need to put in a training plan of action for your team you need to outline your best practices on handling customers and taking care of them on all fronts of your business thank you for watching this training I hope you take this training and apply it into your store. Many of you are new managers. This is, these are the things that if you quickly tackle your first couple months as a store manager, you're gonna be very successful and you're gonna build a high performance team that embraces customer service and that drives sales for your business. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next lesson.